Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this cool little watermark that I have over here. If you watch the uh, tutorial on how to make the uh, the Fox logo, uh, you should watch that. Uh, it's actually a video intro. Uh, but once you're done rendering the video here, I think it automatically gives you a picture. If, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've made it. Uh, but if not, what you could use is um, uh, you can go to the frame of which you would want it at and then uh, use either the snippet tool, which you go to start all programs, accessories, and use the snipping tool, and then go to where the video is and then go like this, and you could pretty much uh, get a picture of it. That's what you do on a video. Or, of course, you can go ahead, hit print screen on your keyboard, and then open up paint and paste it in paint. There's a couple ways you can get a picture. But like I said, I don't really remember. It's been so long since I made this, uh, this Fox logo thing. Okay, now, in order to make the uh, watermark over here like I have it, uh, you need a program. Uh, it's either, you can either use Adobe Photoshop, or you can use paint.net. Paint.net is a freeware program. So all you have to do is go to paint, uh, go to paint.net and download paint.net and install it. Uh, I have a tutorial on paint.net. You can check that out if you need to watch that tutorial. I'll have a link to that tutorial over here in the description. But anyhow, once you open up paint.net, uh, you can go ahead and take the picture and you can go ahead and take the picture and just drag it over in there, like so, and then click on Open. Now, once, once you do that, you can try to use the Magic Wand tool right here. You can click on that and see if you can get it to line up right. Unfortunately, it's not going to line up right. Sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. Uh, you can try to fool around a little bit more see if it will line up right, and it don't look like it's going to line. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this rectangle tool and click on it to undo that and try it again by clicking somewhere else. Now, see it won't do it. Uh, but yours might actually do it, so you can give that a try and see if that will work. If it don't, unfortunately you're going to have to do it the hard way. And what you would need to do is click on the eraser tool and you're going to have to erase. Now, as you can see right here, it's erasing it very small. You can change that by going to Brush Width and change it to a bigger one, like, uh, let's go ahead and make it 90. So that should take away a lot of it. Now, as you can see right here in the background, you can see the little uh, blocks right here. That shows you that this is going to be transparent. Uh, something else you could probably use, you can also do the rectangle tool. That'll get rid of most of it without having to do it like that. And then hit cut. As you see, I already took out most of it. Now, I'm not going to do the whole thing here, but... Uh, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'm going to show you how to get like the small spaces. You know, that's hard to get. What you'll need to do, and like I said before, it's going to take time if you have to do it this way. Okay, so in order to get some of the small spaces, you're going to have to use the magnifying tool and click on click in closer so that you can get the smaller areas and then use the eraser tool there. Now this does take time. you got to have a little bit of patience to do this. And I'm going to change the size of it. Uh, let's change it to about 25. Uh, give me some. Now you're not guaranteed to get a perfect job out of it. You might mess up a little bit, but you'll still be able to get it. Looks like I'm running out of room there. So what we'll do here, we'll just make it smaller. If you have a good mouse, you can do this. Unfortunately, I'm doing this on my laptop, so I can't really do a very good job of it. 
and I'm using a, 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 I'm using a, a touch pad to do this. But a mouse, you'll probably get a more precise uh, cut on them. And then once you zoom back out, you just do a left click to zoom in and right click to zoom out, by the way. And as you can see, uh, I did a pretty good job there. Now you just do that for all the way around here. I'm not going to do it because I ain't got time to do it for this whole video. But you go all the way around here and cut like that throughout the whole thing. Like I said, it's going to take time. Um, or if you have Adobe Photoshop, you can try the WAM tool on Adobe Photoshop. Uh, luckily, I got lucky with mine and it automatically cut cut out the right way for me. So uh, Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. I don't understand why, but it just does. Okay, once you can cut out everything that you wanted here, you need to save the file. And you need to save it as a PNG file. It automatically have JPEG on it, but you need to change it to PNG. And it save the file. Make sure you automatically have the file on your desktop. As you can see right here, it is. And then you can use it as a watermark if you use Camtasia or something like that. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.